एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल फ्रॉम बायो स्कूल दिस इज गायत्री एंड टुडेस टॉपिक इज रीजेनरेशन वी नो दैट रीजेनरेशन इज द रीफॉर्मेशन ऑफ लॉस्ट बॉडी पार्ट्स डिफरेंट एनिमल्स हैव डेवलप्ड टू डिफरेंट पैटर्न्स ऑफ रीजेनरेशन इन टुडेस वीडियो आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट इज रीजेनरेशन व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ रीजेनरेशन फाउंड इन डिफरेंट एनिमल्स This topic is very important topic from developmental biology and definitely you are going to get questions from this part in any type of examination in life science. So guys please be with me till the end of video. So today's topic is regeneration. Let's get started. Regeneration. The word means re means again. and generation means the formation so regeneration is the reformation of missing or damaged tissue or body parts and this is the reactivation of development in post embryonic life different animals have developed different pattern of regeneration like in hydra the entire individual can be generated from the small fragment whereas in planaria the whole anterior and posterior halves of the body can be generated in case of the amphibians and the fishes like in the amphibians the full limbs can be generated as well as the tails uh, fishes they are able to regenerate their fins as well as some organs like heart mammals they have the ability to regenerate some organs especially the liver in humans now we will see what are the types of regeneration there are the four types of regeneration The first one is the stem cell mediated regeneration the second one is the morphalaxis and third one is the compensatory regeneration and fourth one is the epimorphosis in today's video we are going to discuss about this three type of the regeneration that is the stem cell mediated regeneration morphalaxis and compensatory regeneration and epimorphosis we will be discuss in our upcoming video So, what is stem cell mediated regeneration? We know that the stem cells are the unique cells. They have the ability to self generate. Okay, so they allow the organism to regrow certain organs and the tissues that have been lost. There are the different type of stem cells are present. Like uh, some of the totipotent stem cells who, who have the ability to develop the entire zygote. Pluripotent stem cells are uh, they can generate the many type of the cells multipotent stem cells they develop some type of cells unipotent stem cells they develop only one type of cells so here in diagram you can observe that multipotent stem cell it can give rise to uh, many type of the cells okay but it is limited as compared to the pluripotent stem cells and the unipotent stem cell they can give rise only one type of cells so what are the examples of stem cell mediated regeneration the first example is the regrowth of hair shafts from follicular stem cells in hair balls also the continual replacement of blood cells from hematopoietic stem cells in the bone marrow the planarians they shows the stem cell mediated regeneration so let's see you know the planarians uh they are the fresh water organisms belongs to phylum platyhelminthes if you bisect the planarians then what will happen the posterior half of the anterior portion okay the posterior half of the anterior portion it will develop the tail okay it will develop the tail whereas the anterior half of the posterior portion it will develop the head region if flat worm is caught into three pieces then what will happen the middle piece it will regenerate middle piece this is the middle piece it will regenerate a head from its the anterior end and a tail from its posterior end if the middle piece or the middle slice is too narrow okay then that leads to abnormal regeneration this is the example of stem cell mediated regeneration okay and it is found in the planarians then comes to the next type of regeneration 
that is morphalaxis okay and the definition of each type of regeneration is very important because sometimes questions are asked from the definition also so morphalaxis this type of regeneration it occurs through repatterning of existing tissues okay this type of regeneration it occurs through repatterning of existing tissue and there is little new growth okay so morphalaxis is the repatterning of existing tissue with little new growth and this type of regeneration it is seen in hydra hydras are well known for their regeneration ability so we will see how regeneration takes place in hydras so in the hydras the hypostome okay has the head activation gradient whereas basal disc it has the foot activation gradient okay let's see in one example this is the hydra and this one is the hypostome region okay and it will form the head okay if the hypostome okay hypostome tissue is grafted onto the trunk region okay it is grafted into the trunk region then it induces the secondary axis with an extended hypostome okay so the hypostome it has the ability to regenerate the head if it is grafted into the trunk region okay similarly the basal disc it has the ability to develop the foot or the basal disc so if the basal disc or the basal tissue is grafted into the host trunk region then it will induce the basal disc okay so let's take the another experiment if the hypostome and basal tissue okay both the hypostome and the basal tissue are transplanted together okay they are transplanted together into the trunk region then what will happen then there will be a very weak induction okay then there will be very weak induction so the if the hypostome it is transplanted into the trunk region then it will develop the uh, the secondary axis with extended hypostome or the head region similarly with the basal disc but if we transplant both the hypostome and basal disc together then that will lead to very weak induction and uh, let's see the another experimental condition so this is the donor and uh, this one is the hypostome region and this one is the sub hypostomal tissues so first what will happen if the hypostomal tissue okay this hypostomal tissue it is grafted into an amputated region okay it is uh, grafted into the amputated region okay the head is amputated here so that inhibit the regeneration of the head okay the hypostome it is able to induce the hypostome formation or the head formation if the head is intact if the head is amputated then the hypostome it inhibit the regeneration of head the sub hypostomal tissue does not generate a new head when it is placed close to an existing host head sub hypostomal tissue if it is placed close to the head region then it will not able to generate the new head okay and the, let's see the another experimental condition what happens so, so here it is all about the sub hypostomal tissue this sub hypostomal tissue it generate the head if the existing head is removed okay sub hypostomal tissue when it will be able to generate the head when the head is amputated also a head also form at the site where the host head was amputated so hypostomal tissue it able to induce the head if the head is removed another condition sub hypostomal tissue generate a new head when it is placed 
far away from existing head if you place the sub hypostomal tissue far away from the head then it will able to generate the host head okay but if you place the sub hypostomal tissue close to the head region then it cannot induce the head so what are the genes that play the role in activation of the head and foot in hydra the major head inducer of the hypostom are the set of a proteins those are went 3a and brachiuri genes whereas the tail gradient of the vessel disc are formed by several small peptides okay and those are the singer gene and manacal genes now comes to the compensatory regeneration compensatory regeneration as its name indicates that the some of the cell they proliferate and compensate for the other parts and this type of regeneration is seen in mammalian liver liver it regenerate by proliferation of existing tissues there are the five types of liver cells like hepatocytes duct cells fat storing cells which is also known as the eto cells endothelial cells and the fifth one is copper macrophage is begin dividing to produce more of themselves and they compensate for the lost part so now we will see how the compensatory regeneration takes place step by step so first if there is a removal or injury to the liver then that is sensed through blood stream and bile and the gut lipopolysaccharide secretion increases these lipopolysaccharides they activates two non hepatocyte cells to secrete paracrine factors and that allow the hepatocytes to enter the cell cycle so what are those two cells the first one is the coffer cell and this coffer cell it secretes interleukin 6 that is il6 and tumor necrosis factor alpha whereas the other cell that is the stellate cells it secrete the hepatocyte growth factor in short it is sgf okay and tgf beta the hepatocytes that are connected to one another in an epithelium they cannot respond to the hepatocyte growth factor so after the partial hepatotomy the hepatocytes it will activate the cmat and cmat it is the receptor for sgf if we will block the cmat then there will be no liver regeneration and the partial hepatotomy it activate the metalloproteinase and what is the function of metalloproteinase this function is to digest the extracellular matrix if the extracellular matrix is digested that permit the hepatocyte to separate and proliferate together these factors produced together the factors produced by coffer cell and the stellate cells allow the hepatocytes to re enter the cell cycle and proliferate and that their cell will compensate for the lost part so here in diagram if there is a partial hepatotomy or the liver injury then it will be sensed by blood and it will secrete the lipopolysaccharides and the bile salts the lipopolysaccharide it will increase the or activate the two cells the one is the coffer cell and another one is the stellate cells the coffer cell it will secrete the paracrine factor tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin 6 where the stellate cell it will secrete the hepatocyte growth factor okay but if the hepatocytes they are linked with each other Uh, so they cannot enter the cell cycle okay and the partial hepatotomy it will release the metalloprotease this metalloprotease it will digest the extracellular matrix so that cell they can enter into the cell cycle okay then the cell it enter into hepatocytes they enter into the cell cycle and the liver cell will be regenerate 
So let's see what are the questions asked in the previous year CSI and NET exam and each question they are carrying 4 marks. Okay. So the first question is in case of morphalactic regeneration, what happens? There is a repatterning of existing tissue with little new growth. Okay. We know the definition the morphalactic regeneration means the repatterning of existing tissue with little new growth. You see, this is the direct question and it carries 4 marks. So, the correct answer is option A. Given below are some type of statements regarding regeneration. So, let's see what are the statements. The P. The type of regeneration characteristics of mammalian liver is considered as compensatory regeneration. Okay. And the type of regeneration which is found in the liver is Compensatory regeneration, the statement is correct. Regrowth of hair sac from follicular cells exemplifies stem cells mediated regeneration. This one is also correct. Okay. Regeneration occurring through repatterning of existing tissue with little new growth. It is known as the morphalaxis. This one is also the correct. Here you see only the definitions are here. And the examples. Other structure undergoing de differentiation forming a blastema that then re differentiated to form the lost structure is called epimorphosis. Yes, this is the definition of epimorphosis. So, this statement is also correct. Epimorphosis means the other structures they undergoing the de differentiation that leads to the formation of the blastema and which is again re differentiated to form the lost part. Okay. So, choose the most appropriate combination of correct statement. So, all the statements are correct. So, the answer is PQRS that is option D. Epimorphosis regeneration, this one is the very very important and mostly you will get questions from the epimorphosis. My upcoming video or the next video, it will be on epimorphosis and how the blastoma are forms. The role of the retinoic acid so guys please please stay tuned and uh, subscribe my channel and turn on the notification button so you will be notified when i will upload when the next video which will be on epimorphosis thank you for watching this uh, video tutorial if you like this video then don't forget to share and subscribe bye bye see you in my next video